Hello everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a crochet tutorial for you. Do you know what this is? It's super cool. Um, maybe many, many of you are familiar with a corner to corner stitch. Maybe, maybe. It's, it's worked, you know, from the corner back and forth. Well, this is the corner to corner, but it's not done corner to corner. It's done uh, a rectangle style. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. So, um, it's a very, very easy stitch. And the increases are at each of the four corners. And that's how we make the uh, rectangle larger. So, I did a sample swatch here just so you could see. This will make a beautiful, beautiful blanket. You can change colors at the end of the rows if you want. Um, but do remember, it's not going to make a corner-to-corner -corner, um, design. It will make the rectangle design. I, you can see the yarn here that I use is an ombre. And you can see it does fade um, in a rectangle manner. So, But it's super cool, isn't it? And it's a one-row repeat. Can't beat that. And it creates its own beautiful border. You don't even have to border it. Isn't that nice? So, it's, 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 it, you guys can do it. All right, I know you can do it. You guys wanna get started on it? It's so pretty. I love how it creates its own border. Unique, interesting, and gorgeous all at the same time it's got all the qualities we could ever want one row both on same side easy beautiful everything let's do it all right for that particular uh swatch sample that you've seen i used a uh, red heart super saver ombre which is a medium weight number four um 100 acrylic yarn a color green apple of course you can use any yarn you like depending on what project you'd like to use you know what you'd like to make this out of this stitch and for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook now um in order to get this to start out to where we can start increasing at the four corners we do need to do three straight rows um and then the fourth row will be start the work around. And then the fifth row will be the repeat row. It's just a one row repeat, like I said. And we'll always increase at these four corners. Very, very easy to do. And it looks super cool because you don't really see uh, this stitch looking like this too often. Too often in this manner. All right. I like to see what you guys do with it. Like different color wise and stuff. All right. So... To, to do this, we need to start out with a slip knot on our hook. And we need to start with a beginning chain of 33 stitches. So keep going until you get a chain of 33. All right, so I got my chain of 33 stitches. Now what we're going to do is we are going to be working in the fourth chain from our hook. So we don't count that one that's on our hook. One, two, three. One, two, three. And in that fourth chain, we're going to work a double crochet. I'm going to work it, flip my, my chain over, and I'm going to work it in that back bump. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It just gives a cleaner edge because we won't be working back into this row. So I'm going to yarn over. And if you see these bat bunk bumps back here, one, two, three, four, double crochet into that back bump, the fourth one from your hook. Just like that. Like I said, I don't generally do that. Um, only when I know I'm not going to be working back into the stitch because it does leave a cleaner edge. Now we're going to do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches and again you can see since I put that first double crochet there now they kind of twisted the chain and the back bumps are very visible so it's just one loop that one little back bump back there just go right through it double crochet into the next back bump there you don't have to do it that way remember you can just do it normal if you like and then the next one just like that 
So what we have here is we have three double crochets and then we have this chain here on the end. It's kind of a chain three here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to skip two stitches. So skip, skip, and in the next back bump, so skip your two, skip, skip, right there, slip stitch. Go right into it and we're going to slip stitch into that back bump like that. And that's kind of going to start the repeat of the row. So we slip stitch in that back bump. Now we're going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And we're going to put a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So one double, one double, one double. All right. So we'll go ahead and yarn over and double crochet once into each of the next three stitches. So there's one. Then you go to the next one. Let's see if I can get that. Bag bump's always a little difficult for me. Some people could do it so easily. Me, not so much. I just don't do it as often, I guess. I don't know. There's two. And one more time. Would be three double crochets in a row that we did. Like that. And then again, we're going to skip two. So you can see the bumps pretty pretty visibly. Unless you're doing it this way, that's fine too. Just skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next one, we single crochet. I'm sorry, slip stitch, slip stitch. We slip stitch. Sorry about that. Just like that. And then we're gonna start a repeat again. And as you can see, it starts to take on this zigzag little effect. So again, we will chain a three. One, two, three and we're going to double crochet once in each of the next three stitches so there's one I'm sorry. It's not hard. I'm just, I'm making it look hard. <laughs> I'm so, my yarn split. There's two. And the next one is three. There we go. Just like that. So I did your three doubles in a row. And again, we will skip two, skip, skip, and slip stitch into the next and repeat it again. And we will repeat this until we get to the last three stitches of our row. And again, you can see it's taken on that zigzag looking appearance. So again, we chain three. One, two, three. And a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. There's one. two, three, skip two, skip, skip, slip stitch into the next and repeat by chaining three and a double crochet into the next three. So I'll meet back up with you when you have three uh, stitches that remain. All right, so I just did three doubles and I have three chains that remain. I'm going to skip two of them and slip stitch into the last and that will end row one. And if you look, you'll have five of these little ziggy zag things. One, two, three, four, five. And that, we're gonna go ahead and start row two. Now remember, we do have to do three back and forth rows before we can uh, start doing the complete all the way around. So we're going to start off now with a chain of six, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't turn your work yet. Don't turn your work yet. We're going to work back into this chain before we turn our work. I found it to be easier that way. So what we have to do is we need to put a double crochet in the 
first, second, and third stitch from the bottom, or if you want to start from the top, you count this one as one, one, two, three, it'd be the fourth, fifth, and sixth stitch. Otherwise, if you start, we need a stitch in the bottom stitch, the next one, and the next one, and then we need these three to remain empty. So go ahead and yarn over and skip these three. One, two, two, three. Don't count the one that's on your hook. And again, I'm going to go through that back, back bump. So one, two, three. And then the fourth one from the top, we're going to do a double crochet. Remember, we, we, we didn't turn our work yet. So there's one. And then the next one down. The second from the last on the bottom. That would make two double crochets. And then the last chain down here, or the first one that we made, however you want to look at it, would be three, like that. Now we need to turn our work, and we want to turn it this way, like that. So that's going to kind of hang off that way. And now what we're going to do is this chain three right here, we're going to skip all these stitches, and we're going to go right into this chain three space and slip stitch. Just like that. And this kind of starts the repeat. So now we're going to, we slip stitch into the chain three space. Now we're going to chain three again. Chain three. We're going to go back into that same space and work three double crochets right through the space. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. Again, we're going to skip these doubles here into the next chain three space. We're going to slip stitch right through it. Chain three. One, two, three. Go back into the chain space and work three doubles. One, two, three. Repeat it, skip all these stitches until you reach your next chain three space, go right through the space, slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and go back into the space and work three doubles. One, two, and three. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way across, slip stitch into the next chain three space and work three doubles until we get back down here to the end, um, this last chain three space. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row two and here is the last chain three space. Go ahead and slip stitch into it. Chain three, one, two, three, and go back into it and work three double crochets. Just like we have been doing, there's one, two, and there is three, and that would end row two. Now if you count at the end of this row, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six of those uh, little shells, or whatever you want to call them. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start row three, which would be the final row before we have to, we can start doing it all the way around. So, go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then we want to turn our work th like this, and we are going to go ahead and directly go into this chain three space here, and slip stitch. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to chain three, go back into this same spot and work three double crochets. There's one, two, three. And we jump over to the next chain three space right here, slip stitch chain three, one, two, three, and three doubles back into that same chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, 
again, jump to your next chain three space, slip stitch, chain three, and go back into the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same space and work three double crochets. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until we get to the last chain space of row three. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row three. And if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can see here's the end of row two. There's this chain space here on the end. We're going to go ahead and end row three by slip stitching into that chain space. Just like that. And that will end row three. All right, we're not... We'll go back into the chain space. We're not going to now on row on row three. So that ends row three. So you'll have like you'll have five of these on top and five of them on bottom, and you can count there'll be six in the middle. Alright, so we're gonna start row four, which uh, we will be going around now, but every time we go around we still have to turn our work. Alright. So row four, we're going to establish uh, the increase on each of the four corners, row four. And then row five will be the repeat row for the whole pattern. We'll just keep increasing so it'll get bigger on all sides, um, but rectangle style. So why don't we go ahead and start row four. Now we're going to start row four by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't turn your work. And we need to do our three doubles. Um, so we're going to skip these first three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the remaining three stitches of the chain. I'm going to go in the back loop again. I mean the back loop, we just don't get along. And my camera's going blurry. Sorry about that, I had to fix my camera. Okay. There's one. It's going to blurry again. Two. And the last one here at the bottom or the first chain that you made. Double crochet in that. And now we're going to turn our work this way. Like that. <laughs> So he kind of hangs off to the side out here. He's actually counting as one of our increased corners, all right? So now we're just gonna do the pattern that we've been doing. So we're gonna jump over here to the chain space and we're going to slip stitch into it and chain three, one, two, three, and go back in and work three doubles. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Again, we're going to jump over to the next chain three space and do the same. So it's pretty much always the same, except for when we get to the corners. And that's where we have to do the increase. So we slip stitch, chain three, go back into the chain three, and three doubles. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this pattern. And I'll meet back up with you here at this last chain three space. Remember, we just slip stitch into the chain three, just into the whole space, chain three again, and then go back into the space and work three doubles. All right, I'll see you here at the end and we'll increase these corners over here. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row four and here is the chain three space at the end of row four. We're going to increase this, but I'm going to show you how. First thing we're going to do is slip stitch into it and do what we normally do. We're going to slip stitch, then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and work our three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Now what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, three and what we're going to do is kind of turn your work to the side just a bit and this double crochet this last one that we just did in this group of three we're going to act like it's the chain three space that we have to work into 
So we're going to yarn over and go around um, that last double that we just did and the second to the last. Go in between them and work three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. So if you look, you have a chain three and three doubles. So that kind of made an increase. Now what we need to do is come over here to this, this, uh, space right here not 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 this chain three space all right we're not going to work in that we're going to go into this space right here at the end and slip stitch and then we're going to chain three one two three going to go back into that space and work three doubles there's one, two, and three. And we're going to do that same thing again, that increase again. I know it seems like it, it's, it's a little funky, but you'll get, you'll get really used to it and it become really easy. Um, chain three again, one, two, three. And, and then in between this last double, and the second to the last double, that's where we're going to work three doubles. So I kind of just turn my work to the side a bit, yarn over and go right in between here and work three doubles. There's one, two, and that makes three. Now we're going to come over here to the next chain three space, which is actually the bottom of your chain. See it? and slip stitch into that chain three space like that and we have increased the corners over here let's take a quick little look here so these are now increased you can see they're a little bit squared off there tiny bit i guess but yeah so there's two here and two here where normally if we had not increased there would not have been there would just been one extra one there but now we have two now we can just go along this other side here and repeat the same pattern that we repeated you know over here that we've been repeating the whole time we slip stitch there in that chain three now we're going to chain three again and go back in and work three doubles there's one two and there's three and again we're going to jump to the next chain three space right here slip stitch chain three and then we're going to go back in and work three doubles one two three so we're working the same pattern we've been working and we'll continue that and I'll meet back up with you here when we get to the end of the row and I'll show you what we do here to increase this corner and um, close it off and then we can start round five which is the repeat round and tr trust me it gets a lot easier which is the repeat round for the whole pattern all right so just do what we've been doing until we get here to the last chain space all right, so I'm coming to the end of this would be number four. So here's our, our starting chain, or here's that, you know, our string from where we started our starting chain. So here is the chain three at the end. We have to slip stitch into that chain three like that. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to go back into this and we're going to work three double crochets. There's one, two, and then there's three, like that. And what we're going to do is chain three again. One, two, three, and we're going to kind of 
flip that just a bit and in between this spot right here the last double crochet and the sides of the last double crochet we're going to work three double crochets into that so there's one two and there's three like that and and then what we're going to do is this space this chain chain three space here we're going to slip stitch into it like that so what we're doing now this is actually half of the increase on the corner we did the first half when we started the round and we're going to do the second half when we end the round so we're going to just chain three one two three go back into it and work three double crochets one one two and three and now we're just going to end the round by slip stitching into this chain three space here and that'll end round four all right so let's take a look at what we got now so if you take a quick peek at what we got going on we got these are increases right here so there's two on each side and then we got one two three four um four that are not and then these are increases if that's what you want to you know do it like that okay if you want to count these two as increases that's fine and then yes these are the corner increases here so that round that you just did is probably the hardest round of the whole thing it's over now it's over now now we're going to start round five which is the repeat round and it's super easy all right it's similar to four but you're going to be able to see your stitches a little bit better and as time more rounds you get you'll be able to see even even more and more better all right so we're going to start round five remember this is the repeat all right so we always start now from now on the chain of six one two three four five six and we have to work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook the fifth chain from the hook and the sixth chain from the hook so we always do that that's how we always start so there is one there's two and there is three now we have to turn our work okay there we go so now we're on the short side now remember this count as half of our increase all right counts as half of it and whenever we go all the way around and we make it back up to here we'll finish the other half but for now what we're going to do is jump into the next chain three space right here so this is not going to be an increase because we only increase on the corners so this is just going to be regular slip stitch chain three go back into the same space and work three doubles and every time you go around you're going to get another one of these in between your increase stitches right now there's one next time around you'll have two that you have to do in between your increases and so on and so on like that so right here is the corner see that so we're going to do our increase right here and this stitch so we're going to slip stitch into it just like that and we're going to chain three one two three we're going to go back into the chain space and work three double crochets there's one two there's three now to do the increase remember we chain three and we have to go back in between these two double crochets so i kind of just slip it to the side of it and work three double crochets around that last double crochet there's one two and three see you increase that corner that corner is increased and it's finished now uh, we can work down the the long side so we're just going to jump over here to the next chain three space slip stitch into it and begin our repeat of chain three go back into the same 
space and work three doubles. One, two, three. Jump over here to the next chain space, slip stitch, chain three, and go back through and work three doubles. One, two, three. So we're just going to repeat this pattern. See, that is, that corner is increased. It's done. It's increased. So we're going to work this, what we've been doing, you know, the, the what the stitch is, the slip stitch, the chain three, and then three doubles back into it. And so we make it up here to this corner. And this is where we will have to increase here. And we'll have to increase at this corner. So these will be where we increase, all right? And this is just the plain one in the middle, all right? So I'll meet back up with you at this corner and we'll increase it, all right? All right, so we're up here and we're gonna be increasing um, in this chain three space and in this chain three space, all right? This one in the middle is just regular. So we're gonna slip stitch into the space Just like that. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to go back into the space and work three doubles. One, two, three. And then now what we're going to do to increase it is chain three. One, two, three. And then we have to work three doubles right here in between that last double that we just did right here right through here we just work three doubles around the post of that double so it's one two and three just like that increased now we're going to jump over here to the next chain three space and we are going to slip stitch into it. Now this is not an increase, it's in, it's in between our increases. So we just do regular, chain three, go back into the space and work three doubles. That, now the next, the next increase is right here. This the chain three that's hanging off the corner. Slip stitch into it, chain three, Go back into the space, three doubles. Increase it by chain in three. And then going around that last double that we just made three times. See that? One. Two three increased so we're going to jump over here to our next chain space and slip stitch and we start our pattern again down the long side you take a look there you've increased it again so we got our increased stitches and we have one in the corner or just one regular in between now remember every time you go around you're gain, you're going to gain another regular one in between your increases so we always increase here at the very top corner chain three spaces and we just increase them that way it's you'll get it it's extremely easy remember this is the repeat row the only difference is it just gets more stitches in between so we're gonna so we'll just keep working all the way up until we get to the last corner and remember this is where we started so it's half of the increase is already done when we get up there okay um so i'll meet back up with you all right here i am I just did my slip stitch, chain three, three doubles into the last chain three space. And right here is where we started. We're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that chain three space. That's it. That's round four, that's row five. That's it. So like I said, you just, when we started, that's kind of the increase right there. So all you have to do is kind of finish it out with a with a slip stitch. So now if you look, take a quick look at what we got going on. We have our increase the corners 
up here are actually the increased stitches, all right? And then you got one, two, three, four, five. And then these are the increases right here. And you got one in between. So now it is it's just a repeat of row five. So I'll go ahead and start it one more time and show you. We're just going to repeat what we did on row five. So we start out with a chain of six. And we have to double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain from our hook. One. Two. And three. So, all right. So now we're going to turn our work. Now it's all the same except for every other time that you turn on your work. One time you'll be starting out on the short side on the odd number rows. And then um, when you turn your work on the even number rows, you'll be working on the long, long side first. But everything is, everything else is just the same. It's just the way the work is turned. One time makes you work uh, across the short side first. And the other time makes you work across the long side first. But everything else is still the same. So this kind of hangs out off the side because that's how, that's our increase, all right? So, and when we make it back around, you know, we'll hook it together and it won't be hanging off anymore. So what we're going to do is jump to our next chain three space and we will slip stitch into it like that. And we're going to work our chain three and three doubles back into the same spot. And we're going to do this same pattern that we've been doing until we get up to the top corner here where we need to, to increase, okay? So again, slip stitch into the next chain three space. Chain three. Go back in and work three doubles. like that remember this one's going to be kind of hanging off because he's our increased stitch so he's he's hanging out waiting for us to get all the way around okay so i'll meet back up to you here um at the top corner which would be let's see here we're going to increase this stitch this chain space here this will be a regular stitch this will be a regular stitch and then we'll increase this one so like i said there'll be an extra one every time you go around there'll be an extra regular little shell or cluster or whatever we're doing in the chain three space so last time we have one now we have two chain spaces that will be regulars and these right here on the ends will be our um increases so i'll meet back up with you right up here all right i'm coming up here to this corner here that's sticking out on the end remember it's the same thing that we did on the previous row Slip stitch, chain three. We're increasing this corner here. Go back in and work three doubles. And then we increase one, two, three by chain and three. And going back into in between this double crochet and this double crochet and working three doubles. One, two and three and now you've increased that stitch so we can start again slip stitch into the next stitch and this is just our regular stitch two, three, and the next chain three space is just our regular stitch. So now we have two in between our increases because our next stitch, this chain three space hanging off the corner, 
is where we're going to increase. So we're going to go into it, slip stitch, chain three, go back into the chain space and work three doubles. There's one, two, three, chain three to increase it and go back into where we just put our last double, work around it and work three doubles. One, two, and three. That's it, it's increased. Now we start again with our regular stitch. Find your next chain three, slip stitch in it, and begin, chain three. And we're gonna work down this long side till we get to the next corner. And you can see, there it is, it's increased, so these, hang, these chain three spaces hanging off the corners here, excuse me, let's see what we got going on here. So we've put extra, two, we have two now in between our increases, alright, next time around we'll have three. So go ahead and repeat this all the way down until you get to this chain space here that's hanging off the corner. All right, so I made it up here to the chain space here, hanging off the corner. Increase this, so we're gonna go into it. I'm going to slip stitch, chain three, go back in it and work three more doubles. One, two, three, chain three, and go back around the double crochet here and work three doubles. One, two, three, increased. Now we're gonna slip stitch into the next chain space and do our regular stitch. So we get here to the end of the row Okay, we're coming up on the end. We have a chain space here that we need to go into. Chain three. And mark three doubles. And this is part of our uh, increase. So we're going through this end by, this is round six that we're on. Remember, it's the same as round five. And by slip stitching into that chain three space. And there we have done it again. So we got our increases. We have two in the center all the way down, increases, and two in the center. That's it. That's it. So I just repeated row five. For row six, that's what we just did, row six. Row seven will be the same. We will do our chain six. And work a double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain from the hook. And that's part of our increase. And remember, we're going to turn our work. This time, we turn, we're on the short side first. Remember, odd numbers are, uh, rows are go across the short side first when you turn. Even numbers go across the long side when you turn. All right. And that guy just hang, kind of hangs out there until you make it all the way around. And then you finish him out. But, uh, so we're just going to do a regular stitch here because that is part of our increase. So, and we'll finish it up when we get here. 
Oops, so we have to go all the way around to finish that up. Do your regular. Remember, we're just doing the same thing. I'm just trying to show you the increase is really good. And then we should have three regulars this time because we had two last time. So there's one, another one. And right here is another one. Okay, here's our corner right here. Gotta do our increase here, so we go into it. Slip stitch, chain three, three doubles into that space. We're just increasing it the same way we increase the others. We chain three now, and then we work three doubles in between those doubles. Increased. Now we're going to start our pattern again. Slip stitch into the next chain three space. And chain three. Three doubles back into the same spot. So this is it. We're just going to keep repeating that. So you can see that you have increased that. You'd work that same pattern all the way down until you get to your... Uh, chain three space here on the end you would increase that and then you would have your three regulars one two three increase this one here on the end and then you start your regulars again all the way down and then right here you would do this would be part of your increase you, you would just do a regular one here and then you know like we did before and end it with a slip stitch here and that would finish it out and you would have increases here and three in between. And then again, you would start your next row. Remember, we're just repeating the row five. It's just getting bigger and bigger as you go. You start with the chain six. And then when you turned your work this time, you would be working on a long side all the way around. All right. So remember, you just keep that in mind. Just keep repeating that. Just keep that in mind. Um, every time you're working on an odd row, the whole thing is just a repeat of row five, but every time that you turn your work and you're on an odd row, you will work across the short side first when you turn your work. And every time that you are on an even number row, you turn your work, you work across a long side first. All right? It's all the same though. And after a while, it looks like this beautiful, beautiful piece of work creating its own border. I love it. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Trust me, once you get a few rows down, it's super simple and it works up really quick. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.